My boss witnessed the entire thing, and I got fired. I love online shopping. It's so convenient. I browse and add everything I like to my cart. Not that I can afford everything I put in it. <laughs> I prefer to compare items and buy what I think is best. Collect and select. That's my motto. If you love online shopping too, like this video and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to keep updated with more fascinating stories like this. My name is Bonnie. I used to think that boyfriends are just like items I add to my cart online. I date a lot of men at the same time so that later on, I can choose whoever is best and marry him. As I've said, I like to collect and then select. Believe it or not, I have had a boyfriend in almost every city in our state. I know it's not culturally accepted. Many people call the idea cheating. But I say it's only cheating if you get caught. <laughs> that is why I only have one man in each city to lessen the chances of my boyfriends meeting each other. Before you get the wrong idea, I want you to know that I'm not really a supermodel type of girl. I'm not a slut either who sleeps with multiple men. In fact, I haven't even slept with any of my boyfriends at all. You don't need to be exceedingly beautiful to attract men. All you need is to have confidence and self-love. Believe that you're beautiful and everyone will see you as beautiful. I think that is what attracted my boyfriends to me. Having a lot of boyfriends was thrilling. Whenever one or two of them were busy, I had a lot of other options to keep me entertained. Whenever I was down, I got lots of emotional support. It was also fun to go out on dates with different men because each of them had a unique way of showing me how special I was. The best part, though, had to be sparing myself from the heartache that comes from breakups. When one decides that the relationship is no longer working out, it's not a big deal. I still had lots of backups. I really enjoyed it. That is until things got messy. Several of my boyfriends started wanting to take the relationship to a higher level. I mean, it was kind of sweet that they wanted a serious relationship and wanted to spend a lot of time with me, but that was where the problem came from. I was only one and there was lots of them. How do I divide my time between several guys? Scheduling dates and video chats became really challenging. What's more, handling their personal and emotional issues was also a handful. I understand that we all get sad and feel down now and then, but dealing with several men who had bad days all at one time drove me crazy. Despite that, I tried to make things work out with each and every one of them. Unfortunately, though, it didn't. I was too naive in thinking that guys were just like those shopping items I could collect and select online, and I underestimated the power of social media. Of course, when you have many men in your life, you're bound to have a favorite. My favorite was Jake. He was a catch. He was handsome, a real gentleman, and we had lots of things in common. I spent more time with him than any of my other boyfriends. He was husband material, and I was already planning on exclusively dating him alone. I just needed to be sure that what I was feeling for him was real, you know, before I dumped all of my other options. So, one weekend, Jake came over, and we had such a great time together. In fact, we had so much fun that the photos of the weekend we spent together were all over his Instagram. I I clicked love on every photo and left some sweet comments. That was when things spiraled down. It must have been my bad karma because it happened that Jake was cousins with four of the other guys I was dating. 
It was such an unfortunate coincidence for me. These four other boyfriends saw his posts and realized that I was going out with all five of them at the same time. What's worse was that somehow they were able to connect with all of my other boyfriends too. A week after that date with Jake, all of my 18 boyfriends came to my office and broke up with me one by one. My boss witnessed the entire thing. Being a traditional old man, he was extremely displeased with what I had done. He told me that my values didn't align with that of his company, and I got fired. Thus, I lost Jake and all of my other boyfriends and my job all in one day. When karma bites, it bites hard indeed. All I can say is that I have learned my lesson, and I'm going to be taking a step back from dating, at least until I find the one guy that I'm truly interested in. What are your dating stories? Share it with us in the comment section below, and your story may just be featured next. Are you enjoying this story? Share this video to your friends and let's get this video to 1000 likes. Don't forget to check out our other nutty stories.